subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The Fountain of Youth is a mythical spring fabled to restore the youth of anyone who drinks or bathes in its waters. It is found to mention in ancient literature for thousands of years and it perfectly represents one of humankind's desires, the quest for immortality. While immortality is still a long shot, scientists across the world have been studying aging and the mechanisms behind how the body grows old to understand how we can slow the process. But more importantly, such studies reveal a lot about aging related diseases and may help develop new therapies to counteract them. For decades, scientists have observed that when old mice are given blood from younger mice, many of the youthful features are restored to many cells and tissues. However, which factor in the blood had the potential to counteract the effects of aging was not well understood until now. In this video, I talk about a new research that identified tiny circulating shuttles in the blood called extracellular vesicles and how they repair muscle cells in old mice. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Extracellular vesicles are particles released from nearly all types of cells. They consist of a layer of lipids that package a microscopic cargo of protein, nucleic acids or other biomolecules. The team from University of Pittsburgh in the US wondered if extracellular vesicles or EVs might contribute to muscle regeneration because these couriers travel between cells via the blood and other bodily fluids. Now, the team demonstrated that these EVs deliver genetic instructions for the longevity protein known as clotho to muscle cells. Loss of muscle function and impaired muscle repair in old mice may be driven by aged EVs, which carry fewer copies of these instructions than those in young animals. The findings are an important advance in understanding why the capacity for muscles to regenerate dwindles with age. The research helps understand the basic biology of how muscle regeneration works and how it fails to work as we age. The team also believes that EVs now can be thought of as candidates to develop therapeutics to counteract these age-related defects. For the study, the team collected serum, the fraction of the blood that remains after removing blood cells and clotting factors, from young mice and injected it into aged mice with injured muscles. Mice that received young serum showed enhanced blood regeneration and functional recovery compared to those that received a placebo treatment, but the serum's restorative properties were lost when EVs were removed indicating that these vesicles mediate the beneficial effects of young blood. The researchers further found that EVs carry mRNA, which act as genetic instructions for anti-aging protein clotho. mRNA or messenger RNA is a single-stranded RNA molecule that leaves the cell nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm where proteins are made. During protein synthesis, a molecule called ribosome moves along the mRNA, reads the code and translates them into a corresponding amino acid, which are building blocks of protein. These mRNA are delivered to muscle progenitor cells, a type of stem cell that is important for regeneration of skeletal muscle. EVs collected from old mice carried fewer copies of the instruction for clotho than those from young mice prompting muscle progenitor cells to produce less of this protein. Usually, skeletal muscle satellite cells play a crucial role in muscle fiber maintenance, repair and remodeling. These cells are responsible for muscle growth as well as for the repair of the muscle. These satellite cells can go into a state of dormancy when we age or if a person has a sedentary lifestyle, in which case the body starts to think its muscle regeneration capabilities are no longer required. With increasing age, muscle doesn't heal as well after damage either. The same team had in an earlier study showed that clotho is an important regulator of regenerative capacity in muscle progenitor cells and that this protein declines with age. 
A 2005 study by scientists in Japan and the US has also shown that overexpression of this protein extends the lifespan of mice and that a mutation in the protein leads to a syndrome that may resemble premature aging. The new study shows for the first time that age-related shifts in EV cargo continues to deplete clotho in aged stem cells, suggesting that EVs could be developed into novel therapies for healing damaged muscle tissues. The team believes that EVs may help boost regenerative capacity of muscles in older individuals and improve recovery after an injury. In fact, the team thinks that in future, EVs could be engineered to carry specific cargoes to dictate the responses of target cells. Beyond muscles, EVs could also help reverse other effects of aging. This is because previous work has demonstrated that young blood can boost cognitive performance of aged mice. This study does not mean that we should start transfusing blood from younger people to help arrest aging in older individuals. There is still a lot of research required to find out if these findings also remain true for humans. However, the research does open up a new avenue for therapies that can help promote muscle regeneration. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, you can now join The Print's YouTube membership to get special membership perks such as early access to our key reports as well as exclusive community content on the YouTube channel. You can do so through the link in the description box below.